Hey guys, John Cox here. Man, I'm right here in this brand new 2022 Crestliner MX-21. Man, let me show you some of the awesome things I love on this boat. First off, 36 volt trolling motor. Man, having a 36 volt trolling motor on the front of this boat is like having a 10 horsepower engine on the front of it. I mean, I'm able to cover so much water uh, and it really helps me find a lot of fish, you know, being able to cover so much water goes so fast. And uh, something else that's really cool is this pad up front. And so this padded front, it keeps you from slipping and falling in. It's really great for sight fishing or looking uh, you know, into places before you try to get your boat into or whatever it is. It's just a really nice place to stand uh, so you don't slip and fall in. Right here, you got a 12 inch Lowrance up front. Man, I'm able to write, mark my waypoints, describe what they are. Uh, so when I, when I ease up to them, uh, I can be like, okay, rocks, you know, uh, you know, or bed or whatever it is, 10 feet from the stick or whatever it is. I'm able to read it all right off the front graph. Um, two power pole buttons. So as soon as I see that spot or I get that bite, I'm able to hit that button two times, drop the pole, poles down. And, uh, you know, I'm able to actually fish an area and, and try to catch everything I can in there without the boat spooking them. Um, something that's also awesome that's on, that really helps you, you know, the older you get, you know, you back problems and everything. This recessed trolling motor, man, I'm telling you, it makes, uh, it is a million times e easier to drive this foot control trolling motor. Um, it's less strain on your back. And um, man, it's just, it's an awesome feature in this boat. And man, look at the front deck of this thing. I got 10 rods on each side. You can fish four people in the front of this thing easily. And uh, man, it's just tons of room. What also helps, it helps stabilize the boat. The boat's super stable. You're not gonna get that rocky feeling because it's so wide and it's also gonna float in absolutely nothing. But let me show you some of the storage that's in this front deck. Right here on the left-hand side, passenger side, this is where I keep all my Abu Garcia rod and reels. Right in here, got rod storage, tons. I mean, I, I think I fit like 30 rods in there. Middle compartment here. This is where I keep most of my tackle, rain suits. I mean, I got, you know, everything you can think of in here, everything I need, a lot more than I normally carry. Uh, but now that I have this kind of room, I just bring everything I got in here. And then this side here, I don't even know what to put in this side yet, but you have this giant, oh, oh, hey, Keith. <laughs> but I mean, you can put anything you want in these things. <laughs> And then uh, let me also, so, uh, so now that I've showed you guys the front, let me show you uh, the cockpit of the boat. This is a really comfortable uh, middle area of the boat. Man, you have a fiberglass console. This is a super cool feature. You know, sometimes I forget that I'm in a giant John boat because of this thing, you know, having a fiberglass console. I mean, it's, it makes it, you know, feel like you're in one of the top of the line uh, fiberglass boats. All right, guys, and here at the console, man, another Lawrence 12. Uh, right here, perfect sight so I can see running down the lake. Man, all the switches you need. You got courtesy lights uh, that you can turn on when it's dark so you can so you can see all in the boat first thing in the morning. Uh, your live well recirculate, nav lights, bilge pump, horn, everything you need is right here. Um, I got power pole buttons right over here, easy to reach to in case I gotta pull them up or down at, at any time. So the best thing I think on this console is definitely the Bluetooth radio that I have this year. You know, when things are getting slow, nothing's happening, I can uh, link it up to my phone and play some music. Uh, but, and then also right here, you know, you got another dry storage box. You know, I put a little, you know, usually whatever baits I need to quick access, I put them in there. Uh, in this compartment that I leave my keys, phone, everything in, everything, uh, you know, so that I don't, in case I fall in the lake, I can keep them dry in here. And man, let me show you something. This is an awesome upgrade over the last few years uh, are the new seats in this in these boats. Man, they are super comfortable. Um, you know, it just, you know, the boat already rides really smoothly, um, but the seats just take any kind of extra shock uh, that your back might need when you're running in rough water. And uh, come back here on the back deck, man, this is a huge back deck. I mean, if you are a team partner, uh, if you're in a partner tournament or a team tournament, your partner is gonna love you because this back deck is humongous. I mean, you can lay, you can lay down back here, take a nap. You know, your wife or girlfriend, whatever, can lay back here and get some sun. Uh, it is just a huge back deck. And uh, let me show you some of the coolest things back here. So first off, this is one of the most important things for me. You know, fishing for a living, you have to bring your fish in uh, back. They have to be alive. You wanna keep your fish alive. So these live wells here, they're just awesome. Just giant, I think it's 45 gallon live wells. Um, you know, they've got the recirculator, fill, everything you need uh, to keep your fish alive all day long. And over here, you got two day boxes. Um, you know, I just put anything, that one's got a, a fire extinguisher, extra prop. 
uh, some tools in that one. Uh, this one over here, I'm using as a cooler. I got some drinks. It's a little dirty because I've only had the boat a week and I got stuck and a bunch of mud came into the back back here and I got to vacuum it out. But I've been using that as a cooler too. And this is the this is probably my favorite part of the entire boat. Right here, this is all my battery setup. This is my Battleborn batteries. I have, uh, you know, six um, 12 volt lithium Battleborn batteries in here, and they're all set up on uh, two different uh, 36 volts uh, where I can pop the switch and go to the other one. And uh, this part back here, this is a <laughs> this is a huge key to being able to cover a ton of water and uh, and never running out of power. I mean, I always have power whether I can't plug it in at night, whatever it is. Uh, this is the setup you want and and another thing that which is another huge thing about this boat that makes it so nice Is how big this area is, you know I, a lot of you guys that have other boats or boats in the last few years or old boats Whatever the storage back here for your batteries were so small. You could only fit about four back there um, Now I'm able to fit seven batteries two power pole pumps a bubbler. I mean, I, I go there's all kinds of stuff back here all right, guys, and back here, the business end of this boat. Man, I'm telling you, this it has a Mercury 250. We have put a 250 horsepower on a giant John boat. I mean, this, this is like, this is incredible. This thing, you have so much power. Um, you're able to get in super shallow water, trim it down, jump up in water that you would normally need a, a 10, 20, 30 horsepower engine to get up on plane. You're able to get up on plane with a 250 in these areas and uh, and handles great. Gosh, man, you come around tor corners. I mean, being a foot and a half of water and be able to make these turns and just turn, you know, complete ease, no problems. And uh, you never even feel any anything, you know, hitting any mud or anything. Uh, this is definitely uh, my favorite part of the boat. Gosh, I feel like I say that a lot. I love so much of this thing. Uh, but you got your poles back here. You got your Atlas jack plate that's gonna be on there any day now when they finally come in and, uh, and uh, I love this boat. And gosh, guys, I mean, it's beautiful out today. The weather's great, man. I can't wait. To, we, we need to go fishing. You ready to put this up and uh, see if we can't catch a few fish.